Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we've got Titans Theme Team episode number 33. So, with that being said, you guys see the overall. Our overall is now up to a, I think we were up to a 96 last week, if I remember correctly. But maybe we weren't. Maybe we weren't. But we have, we've gotten a couple of upgrades. Um... I think we were at 96 because I think Javon Curse got us a 96 overall. But you guys see the defense is overall. It's up to a 97 now with the addition of Malcolm Butler. That was a big addition to the team. So I'm going to check out the offense really quick. So the offense here is looking really nice. A lot of potential on both sides of the football. Uh, I want to go ahead and say whenever Steve McNair gets his upgrade, by all means, please. I, you know, he's going to be amazing. Uh, I want him to be, you know, obviously we didn't get him today. We Today's Ultimate Legends were uh, John Randall, we had Jonathan Ogden, and we also had LTD Ricky Jackson today. So, uh, some, you know, kind of a dud Ultimate Legend weekend, but hey, a great promo yesterday, guys. A fantastic promo in the Mutt Heroes promo, um, and it's continuing on for the next three weeks. Uh, definitely probably the best promo so far in Madden uh, Ultimate Team. Uh, in my opinion, I think the card art's amazing. The uh, you know the card animation's amazing. Uh, the whole promo itself, you know, a, it's a grinder's promo. So if you got if you are a guy that plays a lot of solo challenges, you're going to be able to earn some free 97 overalls. I think you can earn up to three. Uh, you know, if I think you get uh, you know a couple 95s throughout the uh, throughout the next few weeks, and then a, a few 93s, and then you get a uh, guaranteed 97 overall uh, if you do some challenges. Uh, I believe it's like to, you know, gain yards, get sacks, get total tackles, and all that stuff. So if you can, if you just do that stuff, you'll get a free 97. If you don't know where that is, it's in the uh, objectives list at the beginning of the screen, uh, right when you lo uh, load into Mutt. So that's pretty cool there. You get a few, you know, like I said, a couple 97s, maybe even three, uh, you know, after you earn 95s and 93s, just throw them into the set and get a 97. So, hey. That's really nice. I'll probably just get my Malcolm Butler, sell the one I have right now, um, and then, you know, make a couple coins there. So, with that being said, here's the offense, guys. Really, really, really a lot of potential here. So, like I said, Steve McNair would be an awesome addition to the team. So, now with the Ultimate Legends being 98 overall, we are going to be guaranteed a 99 overall Steve McNair. That is awesome to say. Uh, that's, that's fantastic news. I was really, really, really hoping he wasn't going to get a 97 because I just wanted to have a gold 99 Steve McNair on the team and I'm super excited that's going to happen. Um, just super excited about that. Running back Derrick Henry is amazing. You're going to see a lot of him today. We run our offense through this man himself. So yeah, this dude's an absolute, he, he, he's a, you better worry about him if you're going to play me. So uh, because especially, I don't know why Taylor Lewan isn't activated here. I guess I moved him around. I was trying to see, uh, yeah, I did move him around, but actually uh, if you guys want to see what my I'm running on offense here, so what I have have route tech on Randy Moss, got post up on Kevin Mawai, Derek Henry with reach for bulldozer and arm bar. Now you guys probably are wondering why I don't just run Bruiser. I feel a big difference, guys, a massive difference between running Bruiser and running arm bar and bulldozer. You know, it says they pretty much both combine into one with Bruiser, but guys, just run the bulldozer and arm bar. It's the same amount of AP. You get Bruiser for two AP versus getting a bulldozer and arm bar for just one AP each. So it's the same thing, uh, but I just feel like a little bit different just running them separately with arm bar and bulldozer. I don't know what it is, but I just feel a difference there. Now, quarterback position is a little bit of a strugg uh, struggle here because we only have Ryan Tannehill who only gets set feet lead. That's why I'm very excited about getting, you know, Steve McNair. He's going to get Gunslinger. He's going to get Escape Artist. He's going to get Hot Rock Master. So those are the three key abilities right now in the game. Uh, really, Gunslinger and Hot Rock Master are the main two, but, you know, Escape Artist is fun to use too. So I uh, can't wait for that. Uh, but I'm running set feet lead on him with Bazooka. Um, I, I change it up. No, I sometimes run Andre Johnson with Route Tech, but as a, for this video, I'm going to run uh, Randy Moss with Route Tech. Dory Jackson, I got Return Man on him, so hopefully we can get to you know a couple glitchy returns with him. Uh, Ryan Kelly, I've got post up on him. Man, if we can get a, I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but if we get a power up for the offensive line or for uh, Jack Conklin, oh my goodness, the line is gonna be insane. But here's also uh, Taylor Lewan. I moved him around. I was trying to see what Bruce's overall, Bruce Matthews's overall would have been at left tackle. It's not higher than uh, Taylor Lewan, so I'm gonna leave Taylor Lewan there. 
Uh, but yeah. Where were we? With Derrick Henry. Then we got Barry Sanders backing him up against any team Kim. Uh, Randy Moss, freak of nature on the outside alongside uh, Andre Johnson here, 98 overall. Uh, and then A.J. Brown in the slot here, wide receiver three. Uh, we do still have Drew Bennett who needs an upgrade here. He hadn't got a card since the launch of Madden 21, and that's been a while. That's all the way back into, what, September yeah, he needs an upgrade here soon. Same with Tyrone Calico. He was the first drop of the 50, and he's still yet to get an upgrade. He's just sitting in the binder right now collecting dust. Uh, so that's kind of um, unfortunate there. But Adore Jackson's also in here at wide receiver four. I have him returning kicks. That's really what he's here, uh, in the lineup for. Moving to the offensive line here. Now, the offensive line has a ton of potential here. We've got Taylor Lewan here, who is going to get an upgrade eventually. I don't know when. Um... I know the next wild card Wednesday, unless they do another batch of power ups this Wednesday, the next wild card Wednesday is going to be heavyweights. Now, most likely they're going to be at 90. Well, I think they're going to be 95, guys. So I think the last flashback batch was 95s, uh, and we have, and then it was power ups last week, and now, or yeah, yeah, and now this next coming up week, either we get power ups again, or we go ahead and get uh, heavyweights, but. If Taylor Luan gets a heavyweight, that's going to be kind of an L because he's only going to be a 95. Um, but who knows? Sunday, tomorrow, we're going to get an LTD. So who knows? He might get an LTD along with this guy, Roger Saffold. So if Taylor Luan gets an upgrade, Saffold gets an upgrade, we get a power up for Jack Conklin. That's a, you know, a good bit to ask for. But still, Bruce Matthews is going to eventually get a uh, you know an ultimate legend. So you're looking at the depth, you know, Taylor Luan, let's say he gets a 97 or 96. He's going to be a 99 because we get plus two overall to our linemen. Remember that. We got Kevin Mawai here who's normally a 97. He's a 99. Uh, Nate Davis who's a 91. He's kimmed up to 93. Dennis Kelly who's a 92. He kimmed up to 94. So we're getting plus two at the uh, O-line position. Roger Saffold, if he gets an upgrade, um, you know, if position heroes is a thing this year, he might get it. Same with Taylor Lewan. Uh, no, no, he's not going to get position here. He's been injured the whole year. But maybe, you know, an LTD, something like that uh, would be nice for him. Again, we also are guaranteed another LTD. So we're guaranteed another 99 overall on the team, which is amazing. Um, but, yeah, guys, we could potentially be looking at an all-99 offensive line here. Ted Luan, his next upgrade, will probably get him to a 99. Roger Saffold, will pro his next upgrade will probably get him to a 99. If it does, I'll move him over to right guard. As you guys, as you guys can see, he goes down uh, you know, two overalls. But if he's at a 99, goes down to 97. But he's kimmed right back up to 99. So looking at a 99 right guard as well. And Jack Conklin, if he gets a power-up, you're looking at 97. Jack Conklin here, like I said, plus two overall boost to the offensive line. And just like that, we've got a, a maxed offensive line. Everyone's a 99 overall. And I do expect Kevin Wide to also get an Ultimate Legend by the end of the year. And I also forgot about Bruce again. He's going to get an Ultimate Legend too. So 99 Lawan, 99 Steve Hutchinson, 99 Kevin Wide, and 99 Bruce Matthews, 99 Roger Saffold, 99 uh, Jack Conklin. Man, oh man. We are going to be a scary team here in the future. Jared Cook, also another guy that can – should definitely get an upgrade here soon. I really don't know why he hasn't got a power-up yet. Uh, but really, the only thing it would help us out with would be um, he would go ahead and get times four uh, to the uh, balance, though, which we really don't need because uh, we already got it maxed there. You guys see there. But um, it would help out the overall. Giving him a, uh, giving him a power-up would go from 96 to a 97. So that would mean he'd be kimmed up to a 98. He'd be Instead of being kimmed up to not only a 98, he'd go up to a 99. So... Hey, that'd be awesome. And with the next, you know, upcoming Fridays, we have consistent content finally with the Mud Heroes promo. This guy would be an amazing addition to the team if this dude got a Mutt Hero. Let me just show you guys his speed here. Johnny Smith, 92 overall. This was a, um, a zero chill card or it was some sort of where you had to melt the card or whatever it was. But look at this guy. So 92 overall. All right, guys, he's a 92 overall. With 95 speed, he can get up to 96 if I had Sprinter, but I run Shaker. But still, look at this guy. If he gets a 97 overall, he had a 90. He had 92 speed on his uh, 92 overall. Imagine if he gets a 97, guys. Imagine. That's probably going to be a plus three upgrade to speed. So that is going to be 98 speed on the theme team. And if they're if they're a little generous and they go ahead and give him plus four speed for a plus five overall boost, this dude's going to be ha this dude's going to have 96 speed. Um, 99 speed on the theme team man 
98 speed on anyone's team. This dude could literally be a glitch. I think if I pull a golden ticket, this dude might be who I use it on because 99 John New Smith, he's gonna get up to 99 speed on anyone's team without a doubt. So very glitchy tight end there as well. Uh, but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Oh, one more thing. Fullback. I guys, I just I really want an ultimate either an ultimate legend or whenever we get Team Diamonds 2, I would absolutely love a Lorenzo Neal. Chargers Team Diamond, that would be awesome. He'd be like a 97, 98. I would assume that would be 9. Well, now that we're getting 98s, if they don't do it in the next you know, week or so, maybe they're 98 overall. Again, the promo isn't confirmed, but you know, Kralo has said that they are... He didn't say they were working on it, but he's hinted at Team Diamonds 2. They, you know, no release date just yet, but when, when Team Diamonds 2 comes, I would absolutely love a Lorenzo Neal. It would help out not only the Tennessee Titan theme team, but like eight other theme teams as well. He played on a few teams. Um, but yeah, then you're looking at a 99 fullback as well. So just like that, you know, Drew Bennett gets an upgrade. Calico gets an upgrade. Bang. Just like that, 99. We're going to have 99 Andre Johnson by the end of the year once he's all the way up. Uh, 99 McNair, 99 Derrick Henry, 99 Moss. The line's not – I'm just telling you, we could have a 99 overall offense at the end of the year. And it gets better on defense. So here's the defense. Sam Mills, Rashawn Evans leading the team here at middle linebacker. Now, I have been running nickel, and you'll see in the gameplay video. I have uh, in the gameplay later in this video, but I have been running nickel. I've been moving Rashawn Evans, and I actually tried to move him here at right outside linebacker, see what his overall is. He's still a 97 here, but – I'd have to move Avery up, so it's a minus two right here, and then only a plus one, so not really worth it. I'll end up subbing him out, uh, subbing him at outside linebacker when we get into the game here, but let me go ahead and activate him, and when I activate him, I'll show you what abilities that I, uh, that I have on defense. So defensively, here are everyone with the abilities. I have Javon Curse with, uh, nope, that's, that's Sam Mills. Javon Curse, edge threat, unpredictable. I think this might be a... Almost a better combo than this combo right here, Enforcer and Deflator. I still think Enforcer and Deflator is one of the best combos in the game right now. Uh, maybe, you know, Hot Rock Master Gunslinger, but I still think Enforcer and Deflator is insane. This is also really good. Edge Threat and Unpredictable. I've been running that a little bit, and Javon Curse has been making plays for me. He's probably been averaging like two sacks a game, so hopefully we see him get home in a couple, uh, you know, couple sacks here in this game, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Sam Mills, I have Lurker. I will use him in today's video, like always. This dude's a he, he makes plays. He makes plays for me. He's amazing. And now what I've done on my on all my linemen that start, I have three guys up front uh, that have Reach Elite. So I have Reach Elite on Kevin Carter. I have Reach Elite on Jeffrey Simmons, and I have Reach Elite on Albert Hainsworth. Now, the reason I have this is we get so close to we have so many good linemen. Uh, I just we are so close to getting to the quarterback. It's 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 insane. So I think that Reach Elite will helps us out because I've gotten a couple of you know sacks from them just reaching around the lineman and grabbing the quarterback, which really does help out a lot. Not only does it help out the pass rush, it also helps out the run. Um, for one AP, this is a an amazing ability um, because against the run too, basically if he's trying if the running back's trying to fit through a hole, he's not getting through there because the Reach Elite's going to activate and he's and one of the guys is going to tackle him, whether it be. Um, Kevin Carter, Jeffrey Simmons, or Albert Hainsworth, one of them is going to reach their arm out and grab them and put them on the ground. So I think those are the best, you know, for the for our theme team, I think that's the best. Maybe once we get a couple upgrades at corner, I might look to go, you know, one step ahead. But for the meantime, I like these, uh, you know, abilities we got on defense. Sam Mills with Lurker, Rashawn Evans, Deflator, and Enforcer in those three linemen there with uh, Reach Elite. So, yeah. Really do like that. Logan Ryan here at Free Safety. He's been playing pretty solid. A little slow there, but once Kevin Byard gets an upgrade, maybe he's an LT, uh, the LTD. Who knows? The guy that I really do think will be the LTD is going to be Kevin, um, excuse me, Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, you know, he would be extraordinary, guys. I'm telling you, he's a run support safety. I might end up using him if he does get the LTD um, and have Sam Mills actually go ahead and move the outside linebacker and then actually have him drop back in zone while I use Kenny Vaccaro here in the middle. So, um, and then we actually, you know, then we would put Ke uh, Kevin Byard. Well, you know what? I'll probably just, for the overall sake, if he does get a 99, I'd probably leave him here and then, you know, sub him in at uh, sub linebacker when we get to the game. Sub Kevin Byard here at st uh, strong safety in the game. So that's probably what we'll do. And, but I really do think Kenny Vaccaro will get the LTD. Uh, next guy, Javon Curse. I kind of skipped over him, but Javon Curse, he's a freak. He is the freak, so he'll he'll make some plays today. Y'all see. Um, Desmond King. 
MVP of the last couple of the gameplay videos. You guys know it. If you guys watched the couple, uh, you know, the last video, uh, Malcolm Butler video, he got a pick six. The video before that, I believe he had four picks in a J.J. Watt gameplay video. Dude is an absolute beast. I don't know what it is about him. You know, I don't run any abilities on him. I, <laughs> He's just... Doesn't have any abilities on him, but he just makes a bunch of plays. Um, he's in the right spot at the right time. He reacts to the ball very well. He does have only 97 speed. Um, he could have up to 98, but I run shaker, like I said. Um, I do run, like I said, I run zone, nickel, 335. That's what I'm going to be running today. So, cornerbacks, uh, the speed doesn't really matter if you have them in zone. So, that's why I have shaker on everybody because I don't really care. The plus one speed isn't going to really factor in that much unless I'm running man a lot, which I don't. And I run a lot of zones. So, I mean, that's really why I have, uh, you know, Shaker instead of Sprinter. The other cornerback, the newly upgraded Malcolm Butler. Now, I really do want him to go ahead and get a power up because it would help out tremendously. But here is Malcolm Butler. Check out his stats here. He's a 99 overall. Kimmed up plus four overalls. 97 speed, 98 acceleration. Again, he could get up to 98 if you run Sprinter, but I run Shaker, like I said before. 97 agility, 88 jumping, 95 play rec. Gets both man and zone up to 99, which is fantastic. That's really why I switched back to lockdown rather than balance. So you guys see me, you guys will see me, you know, flip back and forth between balance though and lockdown. Um, you know, for this reason right here. Because Malcolm Butler, um, I want to get him up to 99 man and 99 zone. So now we have two corners that get up to 99 man and 99 zone. That's that's what I'm talking about. That is really, really nice. He does go ahead and get 98 excellers. Uh, I think we already went over that. Uh, yeah, we went over that this, uh, when we uh, mentioned the first couple of stats there. 98 change of direction is really nice too. Um, scrolling on down through there, really nothing else. But 84 hit power, guys. That's really underrated at cornerback. <laughs> 84 hit power, That's that's pretty good. But we are running no abilities on him as well. So no abilities on corners, no ability, uh, abilities on safeties, just linebackers and linemen, which is pretty weird. You don't really see a lot of players do that, but for the team, I like it a little bit, to be honest. Now, we do have Cortland Finnegan. Once he gets an upgrade, he's going to be an absolute beast. Same with Adoree Jackson here. Uh, and then we also have Jason McCourty sitting in the binder. I, I say this every theme team video, every gameplay video. Adore Jackson will be an absolute monster once he gets an upgrade. Hopefully that will be soon. Like I said, we do have an LTD coming tomorrow uh, along with you know with the Mutt Heroes promo. Crayla did go ahead and confirm we have two LTDs. I would imagine it would work like last week where we had the all-rookie program where we had Edron James come out on Friday. Then on Sunday we had Night Train Lane. That would make the most sense to me. Go ahead and... Uh, do an LTD on Sunday because we did one on Friday and that LTD would last on to, from Friday to Saturday and then on Sunday morning that uh, that LTD will go out of packs and we'll get a new one so maybe we'll get a Titans uh, player because we actually did not get a 97 overall um, there's a few teams that I have listed here but y'all you don't want to uh, hear who they are I did actually mention them in the uh, Ultimate Legends video last night if you want to check that out but uh, I think we have like eight or nine teams that didn't get you know a 97 overall so those are all teams that are potentially, you know, able to go ahead and get um, the LTD tomorrow. I do believe it's going to be an offensive player since we had a um, a, a, a slay. Um, since we got that slay, I think it's going to be an offensive player, so that's kind of tough. So that's why I was hoping for maybe Lawan, Saffold, someone like that it would be very nice, guys. 98 overall, 99 overall, gold 99. That would be pretty cool. But defensive line, defensive line here, Kevin Carter. He's great. The Reach Elite helps out all these guys really, really well. Albert Hainsworth, 96 overall. He's kept up plus three with lockdown, which is insane. Um, I don't know if he'll get an Ultimate Legend. He might get something in a free agency promo since he's having that big contract with uh, you know, the Washington Redskins, um, who, the, the then Washington Redskins. Um, so maybe he gets like an LTD in that promo or something like that, kind of like Devon Curse. Not really a, obviously not a player now, but he got a, a an all-rookie card. Uh, because he was one of the greatest rookies of all time. That, that His rookie year was probably his best year of his whole career, so that was kind of crazy. So that's obviously obviously deserving of that all-rookie card. But maybe they do the same with Albert Hainsworth here for, like, you know, the free agency promo. They give him an LTD or they give him the master because he signed that massive contract within the, uh, the Washington Redskins. But I also have Leroy Glover here at D-Tackle 2 uh, just for the overall sake of things. I don't want to have Daquan Jones here at 88 overall. Um... You know, at the tackle two, pulling the overall down. Uh, but here's here's what I'm thinking: Kevin Mawai, Bruce Matthews, a couple of those guys that get an offensive, you know, the lineman ultimate legend. They might get like a lower overall card, 
the, maybe like a 96 or 97 overall. You guys know like like the um, Jim Thorpe. Jim Thorpe got a 97 overall halfback card, and he also got a 95 overall cornerback card, which on a theme team is all the way up to 99. That's insane. So maybe, just maybe, Bruce Matthews or Kevin Mawai get like a D tackle card, and they get like a 96 or 97 D tackle card, and they're 99 on the D line. That's another wild card thing that I love with the Ultimate Legends. Like their second card down is a really high overall. And it could be on the other side of the football where you can actually play him on defense and on offense. So that's pretty cool as well. Another thing about that, Steve McNair, he played safety in high school. So maybe they give him a safety card as, as one of his player items that go into the set for his uh, you know his full Ultimate Legend. That would be pretty cool too. A couple of you know wild card things I like to think about. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Special teams here. Um, Adore Jackson, like I said, returning kicks for us. Uh, I would love the next series update for us to get, you know, a solid Brett Kern or a solid uh, Steven Guskowski. Um, we're rocking with Greg Joseph, who hasn't been on the team for... He wasn't even playing for us this whole year. And it's just crazy. We're rocking with a guy that is not even on the team. He hadn't been on the team. He was never on the team this year. That's just crazy to me. We need a new kicker. We need a new punter. You know, I wouldn't be mad at, like, a Wild Card Wednesday we get, like, a punter kicker promo. Like, I'm sure that would help out a lot of theme teams, but maybe the next series update we get, like, a team builder. You guys know all about the team builders. Let me go ahead and get maybe a, um, you know, a Steven Guskowski 90. I don't know what they would do. Maybe maybe in the Series 6 we get, like, a 94 team builder. So maybe a 94 Greg Joseph. That not only would help us out in the kicking game, but it would help us out overall-wise because he's really pulling the overall down there with the 75 overall. Brett Kern, again, he's solid. I mean, I don't punt the ball that much, but... An upgrade would be nice, but not really needed, uh, but would be needed for the overall. But gameplay, not really. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, there's your defense. I do want to go ahead and go over the uh, chemistries as well. Didn't want to forget about that. Defensively, we have lockdown. There's everyone with lockdown. Everyone's got it on. Uh, shaker, here's everyone with a shaker. Um, a brawler, there's everyone with brawler. Um, and that's it for the defense. Offensively, we have balanced O on everybody. So here's everyone, ba uh, everyone with balanced O. Everyone except Darrington Evans goes ahead and gets it. Uh, that was, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but uh, maybe we do get like, honestly, I don't even know what elite running back we could get. Um, I really don't think we'll get one. I've been, yeah, I'm trying to think, but you know, Chris Johnson ain't gonna get a card. Maybe an Eddie George Ultimate Legend. You know. Uh, um, who knows? Maybe an Earl Campbell. Maybe I, you know, it, that's a stretch there. But I don't think we might not even get another uh, elite running back. You know, an 80 overall would help because it would go towards our chemistry and it would go to uh, towards our you know physical chems with the shaker and brawler. But here's everyone with shaker on offense. Pretty much every skill position there, and then everyone with brawler. It's gonna be the offensive line there, guys. So with that being said, and I think I have Rabel still with go deep from when we used go deep, but it, it doesn't matter. It's not taking anything away. But yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's uh. Let's hop into the game. All right, guys, hopping into this one. We are taking on 99 Tyreek Hill, 99 Rod Woodson, and 98 Michael Vick. There's our top three with Sam Mills, Randy Moss, and Derek Henry. Let's go ahead and get a dub today. All right, guys, so as you guys, uh, as you guys can see, we are going to go ahead and start out in nickel 335 wide, and it's going to be a little read option here. Telling you guys, Javon Curse is the freak. You guys understand how wild that is that Javon Kirsch just went from the right side of the field all the way. Look at that. Look at the push up front. Look at that. That is insane. Our D-line, man, we are absolute goons up front. But that's insane how Javon Kirsch just ran all the way from that. Uh, we got to get out there make a tackle. Ooh, falls forward. He's going to be just short. But Malcolm Butler with a tackle. It's going to be fourth and one. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and go hard flats here. I'm going to bring the safeties down. Just can't get beat over the top. Javon Curse, get home. Javon Curse, I'm telling you guys. He is a freak. He is the freak. All right, guys. Starting out right here at the 20. Inside the red zone after this run here from Derrick Henry. We're going to look to absolutely kill this guy with Derrick Henry. We get a block there. Derrick Henry falls forward to the 15. All right, looking to do the same thing here. Run to the right. Power O is a really good run play here. So we bounce it to the outside. Derrick Henry, can we get a stiff arm? Yeah, we can. He does get hit really hard, but we, we got the first down, and we're to the six. Once again, guys, we're going. We're running the ball to the right side again. Uh, if we can get a couple good blocks there, great block there, all the way down to the two. Let's go no huddle. 
See if we can just uh, hit this hole right up the middle here. We're going to double team. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but hey, it is what it is. We're just going to try and run this up the gut. He does go ahead and pinch his line, but I do not care. Let's go, Derrick Henry. Find a, find a crease. We're to the one. Let's no huddle again. Okay. We're going to try and quick snap him here. Run it straight up the gut. Come on, Tannehill. Snap the ball. Derrick Henry, look at him fight. That's a touchdown. Titans, baby. Wow, Derrick Henry just forces his way through the defense, man. That's 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 why you put Reach for it on Derrick Henry, man. Uh, really, Reach for it's really good on anyone. Uh, they get glitchy animations like that, uh, and we're we're just like that after the big play by Javon Curse. We're up seven nothing. All right, guys. First possession for him on defense. I'm gonna stay in the curl flats. Can we just go out there and make a tackle? So, I mean, solid tackle against Bo Jackson. He's gonna fall forward, but he only got three that time. Second and seven. I told y'all we are averaging about uh, you know a sack or you know a couple sacks a game by Javon, and he's gonna look to get one. Oh, Desmond King! I'm telling you, he's always at the right place at the right time, no matter what circumstance it is. I'm telling you, that could have gone for six if he if he can hold on to that football. Yeah, guys, I think it was expecting me to go ahead. I'm going to flip the play here. I think it was expecting me to go ahead and be in hard flats as we're going to take that away over the middle, and we don't have a spy out there. It's Michael Vick, so we got to go ahead and throw a spy out. Probably going to be on Kevin Carter. Uh, we're going to throw a spy on Kevin Carter for sure. That was unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, our, our defense is doing a great job. Uh, I do want to flip this play. I can't because he's already in motion as look at Sam Mills just make a play. All right, first play of the second quarter. That was the last play of the, um, as I'm unable to flip, and we don't have Kurtz rushing this time. Uh, as Waller catches it, trucks a guy, and still the 45. Got to get my adjustments down. All right, I'm going to flip the play. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, my gosh, I'm in the wrong formation again. But look at De I'm I don't know what it is, but Desmond King is great against the run, too. I mean, you guys saw, he just, he's right there. I don't, I mean, he's just, he's just amazing. Yeah, and we do get ball at half, too. So if we can just get a stop here, that would be great. Don't run the ball. Okay, it's going to be another run, and we're there. It's it's Kevin Carter. All right, guys. So see if we can get home one time. I forgot to put a spy out there underneath. And he actually is going to make the catch, and we get a hit stick on Bo, but he's able to fall forward. Looks like he got the first. He didn't get the first. I got to put a spy on Kevin Carter. Hopefully we're, we're right where we want to be. I'm going to go hard flats, and it's going to be a draw up the gut. Pretty good, pretty good play call there. That was honestly, I mean, pretty risky play call because he definitely could go ahead and, you know, turn the ball over. He's going to dump it off to Darren Waller once again, and that's a great tackle by Rashawn Evans. That's going to be, that's going to end up being a two-minute warning too. So coming on the other side of the two-minute warning, we just want to hold him to three. Um, but if we do give up six, that's okay, but we really just want to stop him um, and just hold him to three points. So I'm going to actually go hard flats here, put a spy on Kevin Carter, get back to Sam Mills. Perfect. So hard flats are there. And look at look at that, Rashawn Evans. There were three blockers there, and Rashawn Evans didn't get blocked by one. Man, that's just a great play. Third and five. All right, defense is playing pretty solid here in the red zone. As I'm on, Oh, my God. I went hard flats at the last second. Thank goodness I did. And look who it is. It's Mr. Desmond King, and he's going to have to kick his three points. Just gonna play it safe here. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna gamble here. Gonna use with Sam Mills. Make sure he doesn't get free because I think that's Vic holding the ball. So let's see what he does. He is going to. I could have called timeout. Gave me some time, but I'm really not worried about that. I just wanted to hold him to three, and it's gonna be a kick, and it's gonna be up, and it's gonna be good. So just like I wanted, hold him to three. We got plenty of time to put, you know, three points back on the board for ourselves. So maybe we can do that, or maybe we can put six up on the board. I did try and go ahead and get glitchy there with the Dory Jackson, but really couldn't get anything there. But we're going to start out with a run play here. You know, the run's been working out pretty nicely, uh, and we do still have three timeouts. So I don't mind running the football here, especially against this formation he's in, as Derrick Henry's un unable to get that stiff arm. But let's call timeout, save our time. Once again, he he's in the same formation, so I'm just going to keep running this ball. I'm actually going to run it up the gut this time, see if we can just maybe make a cut to the outside. He's going to be using his D-tackle. Solid hole there. And again, I'm going to call timeout, and just like that, we're at the 40 with 50 seconds to go in the timeout. If he's going to keep giving me this look, I'm going to keep feeding Derrick Henry because why not? Why would you not keep feeding this guy to the 46? Another timeout here. 
We've got 40 seconds left. Might have to start throwing the football here and try and get in field goal range. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm actually going to... I uh, forgot to sub in. I like Moss here in the slot on the left side rather than him on this deep post. I like him um, running that corner route that Andre Johnson is on. But we'll, we'll see if it works out here on this play. Um, as He's going to get pretty open, but I throw it really late. Why? Wow, that was so bad. That was so bad. I, I, You know, Gunslinger would have helped out, but it wouldn't have helped out in that situation there. That was just terrible. All right, defense. Let's make a big play here. And yeah, to be honest, guys, you know, the set feet lead, it doesn't feel real good on Ten Hill, to be honest. So, looking to take that away over the middle. And he's going to look for that. And guess who? Logan Ryan almost had it. And yeah, guys, he knows I've been sitting in cover three the whole game. Go ahead and spy, and I'm on the wrong guy. But look at the push. Look at the push up front. I don't know if that's his O-line or if that's just our D-line just destroying him. As he calls a timeout there, it's third and 11 with 30 seconds to go in the half. All right, defense. Let's just get one stop here. One stop here, defense. Un uh, he's got Tyreek. He's going to be just a yard short, though. He's going to call timeout. If he doesn't get this, he gives us a shot to get three. But if he ends up getting it, he gets three. So just got to, you know, one stop, defense. One stop. So with him trying to do that, I'm going to go ahead and shade uh, on the back side. Uh, I don't know. I tried. To, I went hard. Fly. I got. I got to flip the play. Wherever Tyreek Hill is, I have to have a D back there. I can't have Rashawn Evans there. So I think it was just a hard flat. I, I'm gonna put him on a hard flat, uh, and then just hope that we can go ahead and he's gonna run the ball here, which is pretty interesting there. Uh, he's gonna have to take his three. He's gonna spike it. Okay. So he's gonna go ahead and take this down. Okay. It's pretty smart here because if he does spike it a little early, he does leave me with some time. Um, pretty smart there, guys. So he's gonna get three out of this. Uh, pretty much our mistake there. I, I set feet lead did feel pretty broken there with Tannehill, not going to lie. But see if he goes ahead and kicks his three here. Looks like he's going to do so um, with Jason Sanders. Uh, it's going to be at the 34, so um, pretty deep field goal, but plenty enough leg on this guy to go ahead and knock it on through. And that's exactly what it does. So we got a 6-7 ball game at the half. All right, guys. Well, pretty bad news there. Uh, we fumbled on the... We fumbled on the uh, return, so that's pretty tough. All right, guys. Well, pretty tough there fumbling on the return, but um, just got to look to get a pretty nice push up front, and we do so, and Bo Jackson's going nowhere to the 11. He's got eight rushes for nine yards. I will definitely take that. All right, guys. One stop here. I'm going hard flats. Here we go. One stop. Over the middle. Taking off with Vic, and he falls forward for the first down. Go ahead and uh, learn how to have a brain, because I've got to put someone on a spy here. Albert Hainsworth's probably not the right guy to do it with, and Allstott just absolutely destroys us there as he punches it in for six, and just like that, we are down. Um, so, you know, so much for that, you know, getting ball at half, because we basically just gave him the ball at the 20, and he just, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. He's going to go for two here to make it a seven-point game. Pretty smart here. I'm going to use it with Sam Mills. I'm going to try and drop back with Harold Landry here. And uh, swings it out wide open. Bo Jackson. No one's on him. Dang. 14-7. All right, guys. Driven down to the 47. Not a bad drive so far. I'm going to try and run stretch to the left with him coming out in goal line here and trying to stop Derrick Henry. And it's looking pretty promising here. Oh, to break that tackle, and we could be gone for six. All right, guys, so with that run there from Derrick Henry, I'm telling you, when Derrick Henry gets going, it's tough to stop him. So we do go ahead and get the touchdown there. As Got to focus up here and make this extra point to tie the ball game, and we do so. 
It's 14 apiece with 353 to go in the game. All right, guys. I, for some reason, I feel a big play coming. I don't know what it is, but I feel a big play coming. Whether it be a pick, Vic outside the pocket, Kevin Carter unable to keep up. I got to put a spy out. What am I doing? Yeah, guys, Vic is just too fast. I got to respect him a little bit here. Um, does have that underneath route, and it's going to be all stop. He's not going to get past Rashawn Evans for a small, little short gain of five. But, guys, these short gains can turn into, um, you know, a lot of yards here. It's going to go fullback dive to Mike, uh, Mike Allstott. Gain of two. Three minutes to go now. He's going to actually go no huddle here. Um, I'm going to spike harder. Um, let's go hard flats here. And it's going to be another inside handoff. Allstott, is he going to be there? He isn't. I'm calling timeout. I'm going to make him think about this. I'm going to make him think about this. I'm going to get him out this formation. Um, he's going to go out back into gun. So I'm going to go back into the nickel, and we're going to actually run nickel. Uh, nickel 335, uh, 335 wide. Let's flip the play, have uh, curse coming off the edge. Still hard flat. Um, looking for the slants, looking for the slants, and he's going to have it wide open. Man. Yeah, guys, it's a pretty good play there. Um, he's going to run it again, and look who's there to shoot the gap. It's Desmond King again. That was an absolute massive play from Desmond King, giving us a shot in this ball game. I need a big play for, from Javon Curse here. Someone's got to get home underneath. It's going to be Bo Jackson. I had hard, or I didn't have hard flats on, but hey, we'll take it. That's only a gain of what, five or so? So it's third and ten now. One stop. All right, guys, I'm playing the sticks here. At the, with the curls, I've got 15 yards on the curl route, so just looking to get one stop. It's going to be a RPO, not an RPO, but a read option, and it's Rashawn Evans on a monster tackle there. I am going to call timeout and give us some time here to work with. All right, here we go. Can we do it? Is he going to punt the football? The smart thing it would be to punt here. Um, if not, I mean, I don't... <laughs> All right. All right, then. Let's go. Let's defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. Let's go. Watch out for Michael Vick with his legs. Going to go ahead and spy him. Javon Curse get home one time. He's going to fit that in there. No, that's game. That is ball game. The, uh, you know, he's been saving that up the whole game, I guarantee you. That, that is absolutely sickening. I guarantee you he's been saving that play up for the one time he needed it. That's just absolutely sickening. Um, he's going to come out and kneel the ball a couple times. I can't do anything about it. Have no timeouts at all. But, guys, I've, you know, I've been sitting in cover through the whole game. I'm, I'm due for that to happen to me at, one, at some point in the game. But that is sickening. That is so sickening. We had a great stop there on third down. And he goes for it, and he knows what he's going for. He, he, he's got the cover three. He knows that he can hit that seam. And if I was smart enough, I would have gone ahead and, and gone cover two on my safeties. Not cover two, but cover two zones. Uh, I'll show you guys here. I would have gone um, like this. Um, you guys see on the right side. I would have gone like that. Uh, that's normally what I normally do, but um, I just thought everything was boxed up. We were working it pretty well, and, you know, unfortunately he hits a seam one time, and he's got a chance to win the game here with a field goal. Um, in regulations, 14 to 14, three seconds left on the clock. Let's see if he can go ahead and uh, hit a clutch kick. All right, guys, here we go. The bad thing about it is he does have clutch, uh, the clutch thing, so he's going to put this one right through the middle, and that's going to be the gameplay video. That's going to be the episode. What a way to lose today. We are 6-2 and two now on the season, so I think we got a shot at the Super Bowl this year, guys. I'm not going to lie. I've been playing very well out of this nickel look, and when we get some upgrades at corner, we, we play very well. So I, I'm, I'm definitely not out on this team uh, for this season um, because, guys, we're 6-2 and two on the year. We're playing very well on offense. We're playing very well on defense. Um, you know, that that's tough. He, he was saving that up, I guarantee you. Um, yeah, and him going for two was pretty tough there, too. But he would still win the game without the two points anyway. Uh, but, man, Mike Allstott there was monster. But Derrick Henry is also a monster. That play was crazy. Then we had the, the long run with the stiff arm. That's just what he does in real life. That run right there was uh, a great run from Derrick Henry. Uh, but, man, that's a tough way to lose today. Uh, we absolutely killed him on the ground. 7.2 yards of play. I think we ran the ball almost every time except for the uh, uh, one, uh, you know, interception we had. I can't remember the other. Oh, yeah, on the on the return. That's really the one thing that screwed us there on the, on the kick return. 
uh, was Adoree Jackson fumbling the football. That's the one thing that scares me back there, but I do like him with a joystick. Um, you guys can see Tannehill. Uh, I think he threw the ball one time. He had one pick. So, uh, you know, GG to my guy, Rebel. Uh, so, I mean, great game. Great game. He was 13 for 15. I threw him with the ball one time, and I threw a pick. That's why I like to run the ball a lot. Derrick Henry, 16 carries, 123 yards, two touchdowns. That's hey, that's our bread and butter right there. Tannehill to Derrick Henry, just like in real life. Um, that's all of his receiving uh, yards. He's got actually got Ogden, so he's gonna get an upgrade here today too. So he might. Does he have uh, the Ultimate Legend Ogden? Uh, I don't know if I can see his overall, but he may have the Ultimate Legend Ogden. Uh, Rashawn Evans here. Uh, He's a beast. I'm telling you, Rashawn Evans, is he plays great. He's got seven total tackles. Desmond King had six. He's all over the field. I'm telling you guys, he he had that almost one pick there at the, you know, beginning, uh, the beginning of the game. Curse, Kevin Carter, Sam Mills, uh, Simmons. The D-line is, is just amazing. Um, defeat, uh, it starts on the defensive end of the ball for us. Uh, kicking, you had the game winner there at the end. Um, no punts in this game. And then this is what killed us. Fumble here for Adore Jackson. Um, that's just tough. Super tough there. But, hey, with that being said, that is going to do it for the episode. Tough way. It's a tough way to lose today. But, hey, you're going to win some. You're going to lose some. I'm not going to, you know, play all these games and wait for me to win one to upload. I'm going to upload the losses, guys, because, uh, you know, that's life. You're going to win some. You're going to lose some. Um, I'm not going to fake it. Why I just fake it? You, you got you to gotta lose sometimes, guys. Um, so yeah, with that being said, tough way to lose. So hopefully we see a Titan LTD tomorrow. That would be super awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty, pretty dry looking week. I mean, we do have, uh, Monday, no content, Tuesday, no content. Maybe we have content. They haven't announced anything yet, but I doubt we have any content on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, then we go ahead and get into Wednesday. We got wildcard Wednesday. I don't know what they're going to do on that day. Uh, if they do continue the same thing they've been doing. Uh, heavyweights would be next in the rotation. So either it's heavyweights or it's another batch of power-ups. I would not mind power-ups at all. Give us a Jack Conklin power-up. Give us a Jared Cook power-up. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, then we got Thursday LTDs. Those are going to be 98 overall. So that's going to be pretty cool. Then Friday we got another batch of the Mutt Heroes. I don't know if they're going to do any 97s or they're going to have some players. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be 97s or if they're going to be you know 95s. Or what the deal is there, but we got that coming Friday, and then again, a week from today, we're gonna have more Ultimate Legends, and maybe a Steve McNair. Uh, with that being said, that is gonna do it for the video. Should be two videos popping up right now on the screen. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And until next time, I'll see y'all.